Welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, I'm Shruti. And I am Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beard. So today we're watching She Hulk. <laughs> One, obviously episode three the last episode what happened so the last episode we found out that uh she was fired from her last job okay she was named she hulk at the bar when they were chanting her name <laughs> and then she got hired by jlk and h uh she got hired by jlk and h for a superhuman law division okay found out she actually had to be she hulk during work hours which threw a little wrinkle yeah and her first case happened to be Mr. Abomination himself. Yes. So we found out that Abomination wears Crocs and writes haikus. <laughs> <laughs> amongst, amongst some things he's known to do. That's right. Um, and, um, and a little later on, we found out Bruce is headed to Sakaar. And oh we my don't know gosh, why. it's true. He was on the ship he when was on the ship. she called. Wow. And then the, the show ended by her accepting the case because she was evaluating whether the yes. conflict of interest had any impact. And when she accepted the case, we were surprisingly stunned by the scene from Shang-Chi where Abomination is it's, participating mm. in the cage fights. So now, we, now, do we see Shang-Chi? Do we see Wong? Do we see Abomination? Does Hulk return? All these questions and more on your next episode of She Hulk. It's so exciting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, not much more than that to say. No. We're just really excited to get into the next episode. As you know, we are huge, massive, massive fans of Marvel and all the great characters they create. And this just happens to be the latest one. So, without further ado, She Hulk, episode three The People versus Emil Blonsky. Let's get it going. Let's go. I'm fine with it being your show. Just give me one. Let's see what Wong's up to, man. <laughs> La gran La mujer, gran mujer, mujer verde. <laughs> He's got a nice piece of land. He plans to work and reside. 
He's going into farming. No, actually, he's <laughs> to open a meditation retreat on the property, which is very, yeah. And how does yeah. he intend to fund this endeavor? All them women back there. Mr. Blonsky is currently in a long-term committed relationship with several pen pals, um, all of whom have pledged to financially support him. Excuse me, if I could clarify? Yeah. No. Blair, I'm sober. Ruth, Marta, Sheila, Alejandra, Yvonne, and Nicolette are my soulmates. We met through the prison pen pal program. They are my better eights. <laughs> Love you. The library is more than just a quiet place to show someone. Prisoners make toilet kombucha. Okay. Not in who asks God. Excuse me, Your Honor, but Asgard is not a place. It is a people. Therefore, Thor's inspirational speeches are not admissible in. Oh shit. Gotta take out the cracks. The cracks coming out. Gotta take out the cracks. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna turn into abomination? Yeah. Can he be even be held by that cell? I don't know. Oh! oh you got your answer. Oh. In fact, this proves that in every instance, He's Mr. In control. Blonsky could have broken free, but has chosen to remain in his cell. Wow. His Solid case. Right Master of Mystic Arts. Leader and former librarian of Kamak. Kamak. Yes. You realize that you just admitted to facilitating a prisoner escape, which is a crime. I must depart. Uh. <laughs> Peace. You ain't catching me, bro. Deuces. He once described himself as a New York 10 and an LA 11. He nicknamed his office the Denisphere. Objection. Relevance $175,000. Hey, you won the case. Oh, it's true. She said it was a leak. This guy shouldn't be walking. Another great episode. I really enjoyed that, man. So, yeah, what do you think? Really good. I I really liked it. Uh, I hate that guy, Dennis. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh. with a wow. passion. But to see him get, get screwed by an elf. That was <laughs> that was, that was a perfect. That was the perfect use of a character like that. Oh my god. Like goodness. he's clearly like the like the only person I can see that happening to is like Michael Scott. Like he's he's that level of delusion. Like yeah yeah. 
hundred and seventy, and he bought her a Volkswagen. Plus, not a Maybach, not a Benz, not a Beamer. A Volkswagen. That plus should that. have been the number one red flag. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that it's not the real Megan. Oh my god! Why that do was you incredible. Want a Abominations now free. Oh, okay. So we'll see how that storyline. We got Wong this episode. Yes. Like that's crazy. Wong escaped his criminal charges. So this guy's like. <laughs> Really? Okay. Time, time for me Gone. to go. Uh, what else happened? And now we got to find out who was after her. So yeah, these the guys, guys were hired that by, her. Yeah. So these, they, they like the guys who, um, who jumped her. They, he, she said that they, um, they got their material from an Asgardian Asgard. construction worker. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So, does Asgard play into the future episode? Does any more Asgardians play into the future? Because that's true. Because we had two Asgardians. We had the guys who stole the stuff and the the elf from Asgard. Mm, yeah. Man, that's dope how they just like pepper in little characters. And she tried to use stores. Uh, Asgard is not a place. It's a people's it's a speech people's to speech. get off. That was great. <sighs> They really know what they're doing, Marvel. It's really, it was really good. It was really funny. There wasn't as much action there uh, other than like the end, but I mean, it was a really good story. Yeah. The way the reporter literally, the reporter had no story. She asked She Hulk a question, didn't get a question, heard something else, and said She Hulk reported rumored to be <laughs> by the Avengers. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, everything's a rumor if somebody else said it, right? And she's actually a really, she's actually, I mean, like. She's actually a really good lawyer. Like, if you think about, like, the things that she hears and how she applies them to her information, like, mm-hmm. the way Bukowski figured out that thing was so diluted because of his conversation with them, and then how she figured out, she figured out uh, from the, um, to have him remove his powers, like, now a blonde, Emil Blonsky He's can get released. He's going to wear one of those things. And he can wear one of the, and he has to wear one of the inhibitors, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. But you think he's actually going to open a retreat? Or is that just like, that would be well. I mean, the thing is, he started with the Obama sta- with the Namaste, it's true, and, and the like, haikus he's exactly. writing. Exactly. So, maybe, so I'm maybe wondering. He's a change, man. That's it. Because the thing is, I mean, what we're all thinking in the back of our head is like, at some point, Abomination's gonna come back, and maybe she all can't deal with him. So Bruce has to come back, you know. But tag I, team. The thing is, honestly, like they, they, you, like you can have a character, you can have a superhero character, and their superhero abilities. But it's only Marvel that shapes their personality. Like, you have, like, okay, let's say you have Spider-Man. You have Captain America. Both, like, uh, both male superheroes. But one is a slightly anxious, anxiety teenager. Another one is a super soldier. So, like, the fact that just Emil Blonsky is being written this way. Like, from Abomination in the in the movie to the guy that's being written now. It's, yeah. it's almost comical, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's all calm. He's all collected. Yeah. The Crocs is just, like, it's so perfect, you know? Like, just... he's super relaxed. And he's in Even he's the in thumbnail. The thumbnail. He's just hanging back like this in the, on his in chair. The, in the shoes, he's wearing the... He has his Crocs in sport Crocs. mode all the time. Yeah, that's, oh, uh, man. man, super impressive. Man, anything else to add? Oh, man. I'm excited to watch the next one, honestly. Like, these guys... I keep saying that, but, like, these guys... The shows we pick are just amazing. So, like, man. Oh, let, me, let us know what you liked in the comments, what you didn't like, where you think this is going. Do we see uh, who's the next superhero cameo? Who's the next superhero cameo? Who's the next superhero she's going to represent? We'd love to hear from you guys. So, like, share, comment, and subscribe for Beauty and the Beard signing out. Peace.